My name is Claudia Sofia Lagunas, Mary Meyerfeld. What nationality are you? I was born in Chile, but I grew up in Sweden, in Europe. My family left Chile 45 years ago as refugees. I come from a family that have been working for human rights in South America for many generations. How do you feel as a human being in Israel with your human rights? I came back uh, in December 2009 to get my GET, it's a divorce uh, document, when my marriage crashed and I, be, I got stuck here in an impossible situation. I, wa I had a restriction order on me, I didn't get my divorce paper um, and um, I, uh, um, I lost a child. Uh, a year before escaping from the same, the same situation I came to fix in Israel and he was sent from Europe to be buried here in Israel. What are your human rights, Claudia, here? How, how I good have been, I've been living six years surviving without human rights. I was not supposed to stay or do Aliyah. My Aliyah process was stopped by the Rabbanut. And, uh, um, I was not allowed to leave the country either. I've been not allowed to remarry. I got my get two years ago. I was not allowed to remarry. I was not allowed to work or to study. And I've been living in shame from the stigma they had me put me in. And nobody uh, had been, I, 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 um, I've been trying to get help from different institutions here and nobody had understood was the problem, so nobody could ever help me. Not even the woman organization, VISU, that is nowhere to be found. For 20 years, I gave these people money direct from my bank account, 200 kronas, 20 years, and I found out here in Israel that they, they don't exist from Haifa to Eilat. They just don't exist. How do you feel about your human rights here? I have been living without human rights. Two months ago, I got back my rights as a Jew. Uh, I got my ID, and supposedly I got back uh, my civil rights, but uh, my Aliyah process ha haven't gone through. Economically, I am ruined in Israel and outside Israel for being in this situation for six years. I survived by working in farms as a shepherd and making cheese, goat cheese. and. Um, from uh, some people here are, are excellent human beings, so I have had some support, but I keep my story quiet because it's too crazy to just talk about it. People would never believe me. And so I keep, uh, I come from a middle class, liberals, Do you <laughs> and feel academic, so I have this... Uh, Do you feel like a broken woman? I, I am pretty much pretty broken because I cannot have children uh, today. Uh, I have a um, genetic um, thing, it's in my family, uh, my phalapistrums are turned, so in order to get pregnant I have to have assistance, medical assistance, and it's too late now to what, be a mother. What do you feel the state of Israel has done to you? Well, they keep me prisoner here, and they didn't, um, they have just pulling me around. Today I, I still have no, um, no help. I have absolutely no, no money and I just found out that I may be having a medical issue that I think is based on, on the stress and under the pressure I've been living in here for so long. How would you describe the torture, Claudia? How would you describe it? Because obviously it's not physical torture that's happened. You know, my, my father was tortured by Nazis in Chile in 1973. So, um, to be in, in, uh, in Israel, that is um, the homeland of Jews, uh, knowing that Jews have always worked all over the world, helping their countries to improve human rights. Uh, well, I, um, I, I think um, today that the government of Israel is a, a criminal government that is torturing Jews, and I am one of the examples.